so now you have done the topic selection now you have to do a detailed literature review okay actually the literature review it's a time consuming process but you know if you have done the literature review properly then it serves as a strong foundation for your entire research okay so it's a preliminary task needs to be done so the main purpose is to convey the reader about the work already done the knowledge ideas which has already which has been established on a particular topic okay so by doing literature review you come to know about what are the work which has been already done so uh, like you even in the universe many people will think of the same topic okay so they would have done the research already for you it may sounds new but if you go through the uh, internet source you will find the a number of articles sometimes so uh, in that case you just take the articles then three things you need to find out the connection to your topic any contradiction to your topic and you find any gap in the literature so suppose after finding the connection and this contraindication you know you will feel okay this particular part is not investigated more okay so you uh, uh, suppose in the topic of effect of ultrasound and uh, contrast bath in treating plant appendicitis so uh, if you feel the mobilization part is not addressed much then that is your gap in the uh, literature suppose the outcome measure okay suppose the gait pattern is not analysis so that is your research gap so you can skim the article and you have to find out the connection contradiction and the gaps in the literature then after taking all the article how do you arrange so fast write down in a either in a chronological order okay in the year wise you can write or in the any uh, uh, methodological order or you can fix a theme like uh, you can just put the article related to ultrasound in one uh, para paragraph and uh, with the uh, contrast bath in another paragraph like that you can in the theme or in any theoretical order if you uh, uh, if your research problem related to your theory then you could be in a theoretical order so you can choose any of the order this is purely the researcher interest then you have to avoid the long quotation rather you paraphrase the topic you just understand what is given in the literature then you paraphrase in your own language and make sure to put the uh, reference okay otherwise you will end up with the plagiarism then the funnel approach go from the general topic and you just narrow down to your topic this is also one way of writing the literature review make sure your references are correct so the sources peer reviewed journal books conference proceedings any newsletter magazines so from all that you can take but make sure to cite the article put it in your reference so steps in reviewing the article so first choose your topic collect the relevant material read or skim the article group the article by theme then finally you find the agreement disagreement and the research gap okay so so when you start the research for the first time you will follow the six steps to formulate the research topic then you do after selecting the research topic do a uh, detailed literature review then comes your theoretical framework so the theoretical framework the name is the same something based on the theory right so every study is based on something okay so something will uh, you know something will uh, instigate you to do the research okay so that something could be any theory so you have to search that theoretical area from the existing research literature okay then this provides actually support for the 
proposed study by presenting the relationship between the variables. So uh, now, for example, we have taken ultrasound and contrast bar for plantar fasciitis. Okay, so you will have a base for this ultrasound. Okay, why you are giving ultrasound? So you have to read about the theory, the physiological effect, all that. Okay, that is the theory part. Okay. So how it works in plantar fasciitis? All right. So that you need to explain about that theory in this under the theoretical framework. All right. All right. Then. So how do you do that? First, you identify and define your key concept. That is your first. You have to write your problem statement, and uh, that is about the problem you write. Then. Whole aim and objective. How we are going to uh, approach this problem in step by step. That is the objective. Aim is like uh, how we are going to achieve in a uh, what is it, in the one go. So that you write it under the aim. So you you just divide uh, the your process into step by step and you write it in the objective. Okay. Then you clearly need to define what you mean by each term. If it is an ultrasound, you have to clearly define it is a pulsed ultrasound or it is a uh, continuous ultrasound. If it is a contrast bath, so if you have any variation, so that needs to be clearly defined. And you have to define and evaluate the relevant concept, theories, and models. So what made you what basis you have selected these variables so in the conceptual framework the researchers construct its own model and he tries to explain the relationship exists between the variables in her study and he can adapt the theories also if he feels it's supporting his conceptual framework